Hello there. This is where the fun begins. What's up guys, unofficial Star Wars here. I hope you're doing well, and in this video we have a new reveal, a new look at the Acolytes, one of their main characters, Daphne Keen's character. She is named Jackie Lan. Of course, we're gonna go ahead and hop right on into it, break it all down for you guys, everything that we know and everything that we're anticipating right now. Before we do though, however, grab the subscribe button if you haven't already, as we're discussing and covering all types of Star Wars related news, leaks, rumors, theories, and breakdowns here on the channel, so if you guys are into any of that, go ahead and grab that subscribe button today. Okay, so in this video we are going to be taking a quick read from Entertainment Weekly. This comes as an ex exclusive reveal from them there as well. Of course, I'll have their article linked in the description down below for you guys to check out there as well as an overall garnering source. They take on to read that she's half human, half Thelen, an all Jedi. Well, at least Jedi Padawan, to say the least. Jackie Lan will play a key role in the Disney Plus series Star Wars The Acolyte, which debuts on June 4th on Disney Plus with its two episode premiere. And recently, Entertainment Weekly has had the first exclusive photos of the character in action. Not only that, but we also had spoke with the woman behind her, playing her, Logan's Daphne Keene, who shares some insight and intel on the overall character, and then also what it was like actually playing the character on set, what this character is going to do and serve for as this overall show and what we can anticipate with this overall show. So, the Padawan to Lee Jung Jae's Jedi Master Soul, Jackie Lan, will find herself engaged with a mysterious new threat to the Jedi Order during this time of the High Republic era. That there in itself is a all new reveal. Lee Jung Jae's Master Soul has apparently two different Padawans going on, or running around much rather, uh, during this time period, which I find very interesting. We had known that Amanda Steinberg's character, who is more of a dark side force user, or just a dark side, uh, kind of uh, Sith-like character throughout this show is also, uh, or at least an ex-Padawan of Master Soul, played by Lee Jung Jae, but to also think that he's going to have Jackie Lan, who seems to be a more, uh, how do I word it, available, or a more just actually like, staying with it, essentially, like, didn't fall to the dark side, essentially, and is still with uh, her master here as well, I think is all the more, and is going to create a very unique and interesting dynamic between those two characters. And so, the show creator and showrunner, Leslie Headland, as well, was insistent on getting Daphne Keen to play this part as well, saying that we have to get Daphne, period. Headland previously told Entertainment Weekly in another quote, I just wanted to see X-23 with a lightsaber in their hand. That has to happen. Ending that quote right there, and well, here we are. A little reference to Marvel's Logan movie with Wolverine. And so, as I had already kind of shown at the beginning of this video, this is one of the two images that was exclusively revealed and now shown as a new look for Disney Plus's The Acolyte by Entertainment Weekly. Daphne Keen's uh, Jackie Lon character from The Acolyte stands in the midst of a forest of some type. We aren't really able to tell what planet this is. I'm going to take a stab at it and say that it could be uh, Dagobah, although it's not swampy enough to say the least. We also, very notably, she has a green lightsaber. Green lightsabers within a galaxy far, far away uh, in, in canon have significant meanings. There's always significant meanings behind the different lightsaber colors uh, that characters are going to be given. Blue usually signifies a more strength towards lightsaber combat like Obi-Wan Kenobi or Anakin Skywalker. Ahsoka Tano as well in her later years also takes on blue lightsabers in the Clone Wars Season 7 and characters with green lightsabers usually have more connections to the Force itself much rather are more strong and have more strength within the actual fourth Force itself. So thinking to Yoda during the time of the prequels, he also has the potential possible to uh, also show up somewhere in the Acolyte, although I wouldn't hold your breath on that, uh, Qui-Gon Jinn having very strong connections to the Force overall. Another image that gives us a much better look and more of a close-up at her character as well, like her face and everything like that. Notably, her Jedi robes are very matching to the High Republic era, of course. This is how most Jedi are, are kind of dressed during this time period here, of course. She sits inside of some type of cockpit here, or inside of a spaceship shuttle, 
it looks honestly really incredible. I really can't wait to see that. That looks totally different than anything I think that we've ever really seen within the Star Wars universe. So I'm really looking forward to that. Also notable is that she has the Padawan braid there as well. So she is very much so devoted to the light side of the force or to the Jedi Order there as well. At least during the events, the course of the events of the first season of the Acolyte. And so, sitting down with Entertainment Weekly in an exclusive interview, she was asked about, so what can you guys tell us about Jackie Lan? Daphne Keen had responded and replied with, in quote, well, I'm very excited that we now know her name now, because it was quite a secret for so long, and I'm very happy that I get to say that she's an alien, and that she's a Padawan, and that she's a Jedi. She's a mixed species, part Thelin, part human. She's very cool, and I have some very cool fights I do with the lightsaber. I really love her. She's a great character, and I was really fun to play. I'm very excited that the trailer came out. I was buzzing for days. Ending that quote right there. Some of the clear-cut basic, uh, I guess, knowledge that we already knew about this character. She's a Jedi. She's a Padawan. She's an alien. What I do find very interesting, though, however, she refers to her as a mixed species. Now, I could be wrong about this. Correct me in the comments down below, of course, as always. But I don't think we've ever really seen a mixed species within Star Wars. Uh, you know, and not at least like this, as a front and center character uh, like Jackie Lan, part Thelen and then part human, isn't really something that I think that we've seen all that much so to see something like that in in star wars and in the star wars universe is going to be something totally unique not new necessarily maybe because again i'm not sure if we've seen that before but yeah entertainment weekly continues their interview by asking jackie is master soul's padawan so what kind of padawan is she and what is her relationship like with her master throughout the course of the acolyte season one daphne keen replies with i'd say that she is a very dedicated padawan she's definitely in awe of him in a very kind of sweet way she thinks the absolute world of him in a way that i think that they have a very sweet relationship but she's much more aware of the authority difference than for example maybe obi-wan and anakin she's very much like no he's the master and i'm the padawan and he's perfect and everything he says i have to follow to it to a t ending that quote right there very interesting very unique i love that she mentions obi-wan and anakin their dynamic their relationship as that's more of a uh, kind of like co type of uh, deal they're very you know on the same part it almost feels like with obi-wan and anakin then again anakin is technically the chosen one of course but you know in comparison to that of how they kind of work they kind of maybe argue back and forth of who's right who's wrong that doesn't fly between master soul and jackie chan he is always right kind of per se is what she's saying and she follows very closely to everything that he says as a master of course uh, and it kind of follows it to a t of course and so this girl being said guys let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. I would love to hear all of your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Some new reveals of the Acolytes. I'm very excited about this upcoming Disney Plus show, and I would love to hear what you guys are all thinking in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Of course, this has been an official Star Wars. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great one. May the Force be with you as always. Peace out.